Do you ever pour yourself a bourbon, swirl it around, and then start struggling to come up with tasting notes? And perhaps you're also looking for a good Father's Day gift idea. Well, you can now solve both with a kit from Nose Your Bourbon. And unlike other nosing kits on the market, Nose Your Bourbon kits feature real ingredients for the most authentic aromas. You can smell real Tahitian vanilla bean instead of some synthetic aroma that's just made from chemicals. So head on over to NoseYourBourbon.com and enter code BP10 for 10% off your order. Hey everybody, another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're looking at a very special release that's coming from our friend over Stephen Beam from Yellowstone. And let's dive into this a little bit because this is something that you know, Limestone Branch, they have been distilling their own stuff now for quite some time. And I remember the first time that I went to Limestone Branch and it was a still and this pipe coming off and it was just like just drips going into a bucket. A much different thing than before they were acquired. And it's a, it's a total 180 from where they had been. But this is some of the original stuff that Steam, Stephen Bean distilled in honor of his family. So here's a little bit of the backstory here. So this is called Yellowstone Family Recipe. So it's a craft distilled honoring 150 years of Beam and Dant family distilling traditions. So this new bourbon is created by master distiller Stephen Beam, and it's inspired by a recipe found in notes from Beam's grandfather, Guy Beam, containing cloned yeast using DNA from a yeast jug belonging to Beam's great-grandfather, Minor Case Beam. And the Yellowstone family recipe reflects the original Yellowstone bourbon mash bill and carries its original namesake of a six-year age statement. It is the recipe that Stephen Beam has been distilling at Limestone Branch since 2015 and is now ready to share with the world. It has a limited production of only around 6,000 cases. It's bottled 100 proof and has an SRP of $70 per bottle. All right. And I'm sure if you go down, Mr. Fonte will He'll tell, tell you, you all about it. Tell you five hours about it. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Steven. He is. He's a great tour guide and one of the most animated characters on the bourbon trail. So if you haven't been down there, you got to go hang out with Mr. Fonte. He's awesome. And have a cigar with him on the patio. That's we, right. I had a barrel pick there and we did that as well. So Nice. But yep. let's go ahead and we'll dive in with the nose here and see what six years of distilling has, has finally got him here. I must get like a. There's almost like an apricot like, or something. That kind of a. I was going to say that. It's almost like. A, I don't know if, like, have you ever, like, smelled metal? Like, you had, like, a bunch of pennies in your hand and then you smelled your hand? Like the nickel? Or yeah. The iron kind of. Something like that. Yeah, it smells like a like a peach. I don't know. It's weird. I'm getting like a real strong apricot or peach note. I can on definitely it. get the apricot uh, out of there, like a dried apricot or something like that. Yeah. All right. Like well, peach brandy kind of almost smells ooh, like. Ooh, I like peach brandy. Yeah. Let's go with the taste here. And maybe it's because I smell it, but I really taste it <laughs> too. It's uh, kind of like that. It's almost like not a, a, a traditional peach that's like yellow. It's more like a white, like apricot. Have you ever yeah. tried one of those? It's like more brighter like in crisper of a taste, like a white It's grape. not like, it, it, I almost feel like it, it's not like fully ripe yet. Right. When, yeah, I, yeah. when I taste it. Totally. That's yeah. what I kind of get out of it. There's also like this, this, I don't say harshness, but there's a, definitely a bite to it. And I feel it like in my nostrils as soon as I swallowed there. Yeah. It's got some like white grape, white apricot. And there's a nice like baking spice on the finish, um, but it does have some heat on the, the finish as well. Mm. It, to be fair, this is also a very unique flavor. I've never really yeah. had a lot of, you know, what's coming out of here. I think if you're coming into this thinking from a traditional route, you might be thinking like, what is this? This isn't, doesn't taste like what I think it should be tasting like, but it is a completely different taste profile than what you'd be getting. But yep. Let's see how we rate it on the nose. Thumbs up. I actually like it. I like that kind of pear brandy, peach brandy, apricot thing going. All right. And the taste. Thumbs up. I like it. I mean, I, it's different. It's definitely not in your normal bourbon wheelhouse, but um, I don't know. I kind of like the bright fruitiness of it, fruitiness of it. Um, yeah. yeah, I might have been a little bit, maybe a sideways thumbs on it, only because it took me out of like left field. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know what to expect when going into this, and when tasting it, 
you you know you taste a lot of bourbons and you're like oh six year profile this I is think you were thinking like more seventy eight ten twelve like yeah <laughs> your standard Kentucky bourbon recipe I know but uh, this, this is one. definitely throws you for a loop it's a curveball yep. it is and the finish sideways um, it does have a little heat on it a little spiciness that kind of overpowers it towards the finish um, yeah I, I wish it was a, just tamed down a little bit a little bit more oak influence or something gotcha. Well, cool. So that is our review of Yellowstone's Family Recipe. Cheers, everybody. See you next time.